I'm sure you have noticed our absence. We have very, very bad news. Frontier, Frontier Communications, decided that we were not worthy of having as customers. They lied to us three times on sending a modem, never did it, never did it. Finally, I got them to send one. It didn't work. So they sent a technician out. Big surprise, they sent us the wrong modem. Oh yeah. So he went and changed some things on the side of the house and uh, got potatoes boiling. And uh, tried to do some things at the ped on the side of the road and then he went all the way into Onaway to that little building and tried to do some things there and nothing could be done. He said that there are no ports left to switch us to and that Frontier refuses to fix the problem, which it's about a half a mile of line that needs to be replaced underground. They won't do it. They would rather lose customers. And he stood right here in this kitchen and he was honest with me. He was the only one who was honest with me. And he said, call and cancel your service. Frontier is never going to fix the problem. They only care about California, Florida, and Texas. So the next morning, that's what I did. And now we have no internet whatsoever, and there are no other providers in the area. So that means we cannot go on vlogging, because nothing can get uploaded. Public Wi-Fi, you say? Oh, yeah. Everything is run by Frontier, and it takes 11 hours. I'm going to have to sit in Subway just for 11 hours just to upload this short little video. I can't spend 11 hours a day for the rest of my life in Subway. What kind of vlogging would that be? If it was nothing but me, footage of me sitting in Subway. Uh, Frontier does not care. I was a loyal customer to them who paid my bill on time, every time, for almost three years and they didn't care at all. We can't get satellite internet because it's limited and Dish Network might not be limited, but they make you buy, you know, pay for the satellite channels too, and that's too expensive. We can't use a Wi-Fi hotspot because there's no cell phone signal here. As a matter of fact, this is a Wi-Fi hotspot, but it would eat up all my data, and we have no cell phone signal. Oh, amazing. Two bars, but still nothing will load. In order to use my phone, I either have to set it outside on the porch railing or go to Sheboygan or into Onaway, which is half-assed there. The best it worked full bars was in Alpena. So, uh, and we can't have limited internet because we use Netflix, which I had to shut off, and uploading would just eat it up. 10 gigabytes a month? No, that won't work. So Frontier screwed us over and they don't care. We are hoping that someday, maybe in a few years, another internet provider will come here. But living way out in the country, we're pretty fucked. Excuse my French. Uh, so this is the last video you're going to see from us. And it sucks. And we hate to have to, leave, to let you down and to let ourselves down. But this is what Frontier wanted. They don't want us as customers. They don't want anybody in Michigan as customers. The only people they want as customers are in California, Texas, and Florida. And they got their wish. We're gone. So you have to say goodbye to Evie and Tug and wherever Sammy is. And I wanted to show you guys real quick, we did the unboxing, but we can't post it, that John Burke got us these off our wedding registry. And they're actually really cool. Nice and sharp, and they work really well. And I just used this one to cut these onions. So they're really, really nice. And Don is out here barbecuing. I'm making mashed potatoes with corn. And he's barbecuing chicken breast and hot dogs. Where are you? There you are. Did you want to say? Did you want to say goodbye? 
Not, yeah, not good night, goodbye, which sucks. Goodbye and hello. Yeah, thanks to Frontier, right? Yeah. So we're hoping, 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 hoping someday we can get the internet at home. Because we don't live in the big, in the big city where we can upload in an hour or two at public Wi-Fi. It takes 11 hours. It's just as slow at Subway or the library or Woodwinds as it is here at home because it's all frontier. And we can't live in Subway. I don't think the old women who work at Subway would be very happy with that. We can't live in Subway. But we're hoping that we'll be able to come back eventually. And we'll miss you all and this sucks and we're really sorry. But. Goodbye for now.